Are you working on development? Energy, infrastructure, agriculture, livelihoods, health, or education? Then you must have heard all this fuss about climate change. That the climate is changing because of greenhouse gases piling up in the atmosphere and how we all should do something about it. So what? Why should we all do something about it rather than focus on poverty reduction? A billion people still live below the poverty line. And well, we know who's mostly responsible for this climate change thing, consuming a lot and emitting most of the greenhouse gases. Developed countries. They've been burning coal and gas on a massive scale, and they still use the most energy per capita. In 2005 alone, greenhouse gas emissions in high-income countries were over 15 tons per person, compared to less than two tons per person in low-income countries. So you may think, they created this mess, let them fix it. Point taken, but you can't really separate the climate change issue from development. You know that, right? First, the impact of climate change is more harshly felt in many developing countries because they're more vulnerable. Moreover, they tend to be in the regions where droughts and floods are already prevalent and will be made worse by climate change. They're also most vulnerable because they are the least prepared. Water shortages and temperature changes will seriously affect agriculture and food security. Of course, this will further affect livelihoods and health, which in turn affects sustainable development. Oh, and think about sea level rise and the low-lying coastal lands and cities that will eventually be flooded. And second, while pursuing growth, developing countries inevitably induce more climate change because they would need more energy to power everything. What are the current most widely used sources of energy? The usual suspects, coal, crude oil, and natural gas. The more we use fossil fuels, the more greenhouse gases we pour into the sky. Now the amount of greenhouse gas emissions from developing countries is growing so fast that their yearly emissions are overtaking that of developed countries. There's no point in pointing fingers at each other. We all have to work together because we're in the same boat. The sticky point is that there are additional costs of this new climate environment and developing countries will bear most of the burden, some 75 to 80 percent. High income countries have the resources to cope with it without too much sacrifice. Developing countries will need lots of support to fully adapt, to reduce emissions, and to pursue sustainable development. The best option for us is to help each other to confront this massive challenge. Create a new low carbon development path and adaptation options for your country and the world. Countries are being called upon to act now, act together, and act differently. How will you act today?